Also in the Namo, a mother has filed a lawsuit against XL Foods, suing on behalf of her son who suffered E. coli poisoning after eating tainted beef from the XL plant in Brooks, Alberta. Until tonight, nobody knew his name or his story. He is 15-year-old Cody Farmer, who got sick in mid-September one night after eating tacos his mother had made him for dinner. Days later, he was rushed to the hospital to undergo emergency surgery. CTV's Jet Bassey has exclusive details. He's still weak. She's talking about her son Cody, a 15-year-old boy caught up in what could be the worst outbreak of E. coli this country has ever seen. He's a lone Vancouver Island victim of tainted beef from the Excel Foods plant. What I thought I was buying a better hamburger for my son. Sharon Farmer purchased the meat on September 16th from this superstore in Nanaimo, cooking it up that night to make tacos for her family. Soon after eating, Cody began to feel sick. He was complaining of um, stomach cramps. He said he was um, going to the washroom a lot and it hurt to lay down in certain positions in his bed. When the pain and cramping didn't go away after a few days, Sharon took Cody to a walk-in clinic. Staff there sent her straight to the emergency room at NRGH, where doctors diagnosed Cody with appendicitis and sent him in for surgery. Dr. Alster said that when he put his hands in there and took out, when they took out the appendix, the bowel was inflamed and he said it shouldn't be like that, it's inflamed. So they ran tests on Cody's stool and that's where they found the E. coli. Cody was suffering from the same strain of E. coli that was found at the Excel Foods plant in Alberta. Sharon purchased the meat that made Cody sick two weeks after E. coli was first detected at the plant. Had we had known, had the doctors known that there was an E. coli breakout, um, we went to have the surgery. We're suing for pain and suffering. We're suing for past and future wage loss. We're suing for medical expenses. We're suing for punitive and aggravated damages. A lawsuit was filed late this afternoon in BC Supreme Court in Nanaimo. This case means for Cody that he will be compensated for his loss. It will give him some closure with respect to this incident. And it may bring him some satisfaction knowing that XL Foods has been brought to account for their actions. 14 others have fallen sick from XL Foods products. Farmer's lawsuit is only the second filed against the company. This is the type of case that could very well settle. Um, reasons why it would settle is because if there are only 15 plaintiffs, um, it may be something that they want to do. XL Food has made a uh, public statement that they stand behind their products and their facility, and we're going to give them an opportunity to do, to do that. The plant's license was suspended 20 days ago, but it could reopen as early as the end of this week. Cody is still recovering from his illness. He's back in school and going to work, now getting ready for another fight, this one in court. Jeb Bassi, CTV News, Nanaimo.